welcome back. As promised, I am here to present to you my personal traveling 101 essentials that I will be taking on my seven day trip to Cancun in Mexico. I can't believe that the time to leave is actually here. I invest everything just to go on one huge long vacation because I do work retail and can never usually leave during the holidays. But I am so, so, so excited to be packing for this trip. I am definitely a more is more kind of girl. So I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared with looks, with fashion that is just the most. I am the most organized maximalist you may ever meet on YouTube. So get ready to get organized, to travel, and let's get started. I wanted to quickly mention where I often go to buy my travel supplies and toiletries. My luggage isn't too crazy to invest in, in my opinion. I personally picked up my luggage from those kind of side street tourist vendors between 34th and 42nd street. Compared to anywhere else, I got my carry-on for $35 and my check-in bag for $50. My next go-to top three favorite places to pick up any of those nifty supplies or toiletries is definitely going to be from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Harmon Face Values, which are all across the street from each other on 6th Avenue and 19th Street. They have every type of thing that you can fit into three ounces. And last but not least, my favorite place of course is going to be Amazon. The star essential that I am completely obsessed with is going to be this seven set piece of packing cubes. The mesh protection is easy to see through. You can definitely keep everything organized and not kind of thrown all over the place once you get to your destination. Or if TSA just stops you to to check your bag. It's something that they can also swiftly go through without ruining everything in your bag. Inside the two largest cubes, I have packed all of my swimwear and fashion cover-ups since the majority of my time in Cancun will be spent poolside. By rolling up everything as opposed to folding, I was able to approximately fit 15 pieces inside each cube. As for the two medium-sized cubes, I am packing seven evening dinner and party dresses into one and all of my lingerie and active wear into the other. I have separated all of my socks and undergarments into the mesh compartment, then all of my bras, leggings, and lingerie accessories into the main compartment. Knowing myself, I had to pick up two more packing cubes in order to fit all of my daytime tops, bottoms, and dresses. So I almost forgot that I wanted to take this kind of dramatic sun hat with me. So in order for it to not lose the shape, I actually, actually brought two. I'm putting them in between the cubes laying flat and then just kind of keeping the other flatter cubes on top. And then you can just put your pajamas inside the head so that that doesn't lose its shape either. I have recently fallen in love with every single one of the Whey products, particularly their leave-in conditioner. They're clean, super easy to use, and also easy to travel with. I'm going to be throwing in a blow-dry cream as well as my own shampoo because I normally don't like hotels, as well as my favorite styling gels for my ponytails. 
I also picked up this hair towel wrap from Anthropology, as I know that that is a better protector for your scalp rather than wrapping your head in a regular terry cloth towel. So I'm anxious to see what this will be. This is a fantastic curling wand I found at Marshalls for $25.99. It's super easy to pack and all the rods are detachable and easy to travel with. As you guys know, I love to extend the length of my hair for a lot of my evening or nighttime looks with a drawstring ponytail. I purchased two locally from a place called Wigs and Plus on 14th in between 5th and 6th Avenue. Um, the color I got was Elegance. I got them in the um, styles Jealous Me and Kiss Me. And I always take two because if there's apparently all drinks included, something could go wrong. I do not joke around with skincare. I picked up the perfect little trio of Sunblock by Supergroup to take poolside inside this cute little yellow container. My favorite product of theirs is the glow screen, which I purchased separately to add sheen to my face. Of course, sunblock. This is the best makeup that will give you just that perfect glow in the sun, especially if you're going to be wearing bathing suits and bodycon dresses, a cleanser, and of course, my two favorite Sunday Riley oils. And also, I packed in a rose quartz jade roller and a gua sha to relax my face muscles. Ladies, for your safety, I do recommend only taking out your handbags for dinner and an Instagram picture and then locking them inside the security safe in your hotel room because you never know who's watching before you go out for the evening. This was the perfect cube to pop into my personal bag. I packed all of my fragrance and basic essentials, including oral care and Advil. I don't like to get my nails done, so I prefer to put on press-ons that are easy to replace in case they get broken. Eye gels for hangover or any type of eye recovery. A dietary supplement for my immune system. And bar soap because I normally do not like the ones provided by the hotel. This was a nifty little bead case that I purchased from Michaels that was easy to pack all of my hair ties, cotton pads, Q-tips, etc. A tie to go pen for stains and nail polish remover for anything necessary. And I also got these samples from Sephora just to try for post flight in case I feel like I need to wash my face. Of course, do not forget your face mask for travel and that's about it. So packing my makeup bag has been absolutely refreshing because since we've come back to work from the pandemic, I have not worn a lick of nada. I had to buy a couple of few new products since I will actually be doing a full beat for most evenings. But I bought this really great bag from Harman Essentials or Harman Face Values. It is super awesome. It looks like it's crazy inside, but it's actually really um, compartmentalized. This beauty glazed color fusion palette I picked up from Amazon was the perfect pops of color for my nighttime looks and had great pigment. Of course, you can't go wrong with a Morphe neutral palette for your daytime eyeshadows. This little tin I purchased from Sephora that came with a set of five mascaras, but decided to throw in my nail glue, eyelash glue, etc., etc. And as you can see in the compartments of the makeup case, they have two zippered sides so that they don't mix up with everything else. This is my favorite Huda highlight palette to give that sun-kissed glow. 
and I'm most excited to try this It Cosmetics CC Plus Illuminator Foundation, which I am wearing right now. As for electronics, a couple of cool things that I did pick up. I have never had AirPods before, but I wanted to find something a little bit more on a entry level price point. So at TJ Maxx, I found these Airstream kind of like faux pods. It comes in this cute little pink case and the sound quality is actually really good. I'm impressed with it. It's Bluetooth and definitely the little earbuds are, that's how you open it. A little bit gonna be a little bit bigger than um, normal AirPods, but for the most part, it does the job. And the most thing that I am excited for electronically wise is this shell box waterproof case for your phone so that you can take pictures underwater at very deep levels. It's pretty nifty and it is kind of a compact heavy thing, but this is what it looks like. It comes with a little wristlet and it was super easy to install any type of phone adjustable for most iPhones or Androids. And then also just as some extra accessories, we bought like the selfie stick thing to stick it on so that it's easy to maneuver, as well as this one that comes with a floater so you can have it. Oh, 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 oh,